Okay, you all, back by popular demand, according to me. In this video, we've got a few projects we want to show you. We have two changes that we've made to the boat. The first is an emergency tiller arm extension, which will be added safety should something go wrong with our steering cable. And then the next is a boom strap. Boom strap a lapa. And this thing keeps the out of the sail, which on a one month passage will drive us crazy. And the next is this annoying roof leak that we have right here. We have tried so many things and we have one more that we're gonna try once we get the right tool. We think we've got it, but that's what we said over the last two years. I think it's gotten less though. And then the last is a hack that's gonna show you new things that are gonna help your cruising experience. Let's get into this video now. Hope you guys like it. Since we are preparing to cross an ocean and then have some really long passages after we make that crossing, we have looked at every aspect of the boat to try and figure out how to make things better if there's a failure. And one of the areas that we wanted to make sure we've got an alternative plan is the tiller. If we have to use our emergency tiller, because our steering goes out, look at what option we have. We would have to sit on the sugar scoop to be able to turn the emergency tiller. This is just not practical. This would be an absolute nightmare. So our friends, Chris and Jimmy had a great idea. It's extending the tiller arm to be able to connect some lines and pulleys so that we can steer from inside the cockpit. Basically, I need to get a couple of blocks, but they're my two blocks that are going to run the lines to the other side. And then two blocks on this side. And now instead of having to steer from sitting on the sugar scoop down there, we can just steer using this one line up here. That's it. So back and forth, back and forth. We're really excited. We got our emergency tiller extension bar back from Stanley at Linton Bay. Let me take you a tour of what it looks like now. So this was our original tiller arm. And then the extension starts here and comes up and we can steer just by pulling uh, one line. And that makes, everything a lot safer and much, much better than being on the sugar scoop for any reason, especially on a long passage. But even on a short passage, it's much safer to be here and hooked in. One of the absolute most frustrating things when you're under sail is having any kind of noise because the whole point of sailing is that your motors are off and it's nice and quiet. We have been really struggling with our boom making a ton of noise. and we think we've narrowed down what it is. We think it is our boom strap. So I'm gonna show you a brand new boom strap. It is made of Dyneema webbing and Velcro. So it just slides right on there. And we are hoping that this beautiful new strap is going to make a difference and we're not gonna hear squeaking that we have been having. We had a very old boom strap before. It was made up of lines. When you have an old set of lines that goes around the boom, a lot of times it will start to squeak unless the lines are wet. We're really hoping that this new boom strap makes a big difference and can enjoy a beautiful sail with no noise. This is so frustrating. We still haven't found the source of the leak in the roof, but we're gonna go up and try a few more things today to see if it will make a difference. Right there. Another attempt to try and figure out where this leak in our roof is coming from. We've taken off the D-ring and recocked that. We've recocked and covered areas that hold the solar panel. We've recocked all of the zip tie holders on the hose. We've recocked every hole on the solar panel. And now, listen, we've conquered that multi-year bilge issue if you watch our video and now we're conquering this multi-year leak in the bin and so. we're hoping this might be the solution i think we're barking up the right tree you know we're gonna find out and we're gonna learn something we're gonna find out very soon because yeah. it's even starting to rain there now yeah butyl's coming out and it's attempt 
462 in our quest to stop the roof leak, which we're not sure where it's coming from. From what we see, it doesn't look like there's any water ingress coming from here. So it's gotta be from somewhere else. So it takes one more variable out of the equation, but next we'll have to look for another place. I know this is a little bit random and not really like the other things that we have put into this video, but it has saved me a huge amount of time with filling out paperwork. For example, when we checked into Columbia or when we applied for the Panama Canal Transit, and that is to put together an information sheet about your boat. So all of the information that is asked of us by agents or by the Panama Canal Authority, it is all in one single document, and I wanted to share it with you. So I keep that in our, our checklist book, thanks to Sailing Bridikin. Uh, we also have a Mayday checklist on the front of the book, so if we have an issue, we just grab this and we don't have to think. To have it written out in a script is really helpful, so we do love Sailing Bridikin's checklist. But then inside that, we've put our blown away information sheet, which then can just be either emailed to someone or a photograph taken and sent to them by WhatsApp. And that has been the easiest way for us to get the information out to someone who's asking for it very quickly. I hope that helps you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. And a huge thank you to all of our patrons. Thank you so much for your constant support. If you enjoy videos like this, please hit the like button, subscribe and share this with friends. And we always love hearing from you in the comments section and we'll see you next week.